Hello and thank you for watching. This is STSC back again with LEGO Transformers Hairpin. If you've ever wondered why I've never made any Transformers Prime characters, it's because I've never been able to figure out how to make a small enough RC that I would be happy with. At my scale, you're just not going to get a realistically sized motorcycle to transform into a convincing robot. So up until now, I hadn't built any. But I wanted to change that, so I built this guy as kind of a practice motorcycle. He's not the most complex transformer, and obviously he's still too big to scale with my other bots, but I wanted to play around with making a transformer as small as I could, so that maybe one day I can revisit characters like RC, or just make my own designs that are a little bit more complex. So in that sense, I guess you could consider this guy to be kind of a prototype, or a first attempt. Regardless, I actually do really like how he turned out. Sand green is a color I'm always looking for a chance to use, and with a character this small, it was easy enough to get all of the pieces in the right color. Turning him over, you can see that the rear tire does not match the front tire. This is an unfortunate necessity of the transformation, as two of these tires would simply not fit back here. For a size comparison, here we have a minifigure, who I think he actually scales pretty well with. And here we have Oversteer and Shakedown. I like to imagine that these three are a trio, even if Hairpin doesn't really scale with them. That's all there is to say about Hairpin's alt mode, so now it's time to transform. And here we have Hairpin in his robot mode. While the transformation into this mode is quite simple, I think it does just enough for me to be happy with it. I've never really liked this transformation joint where people use a clip to flip a piece, but I decided to break one of my rules and use it on this guy, so I guess I'm a hypocrite now. I really enjoy his swept back head formed from the rear fender of the bike, Though unfortunately, as you may have noticed, his eye is kind of visible in bike mode. I imagine these wedge panels here as kind of sword hands in robot mode. The two different kinds of wheels are much more noticeable in this mode. It's a lot easier to see that these tires are solid plastic, whereas these are rubber. But it honestly still doesn't bother me that much. For size comparison, here we have a minifigure. And here we have Shakedown. For articulation, Hairpin's head can look up. It can look left and right, but due to the small size of his build, it will actually collide with his shoulders if you try and rotate them both simultaneously. So you kind of have to pick and choose. In fact, I'll show you right here. You can see clearly that this uh, tile where the shoulder attaches would be hitting this piece if it were also rotated. So unfortunately, you can't really bend both at the same time. But going on to the arms, of course, they can swing forward and back, as well as in and out. And then he kind of has an elbow joint, which goes 90 degrees. His legs have a joint to swing outwards, as well as a rotation at the wheel foot. They can also kind of kick forward, but the way they're mounted makes it look super awkward. Hairpin is a very simple little build, but I think his transformation is just interesting enough considering his tiny size. I also think he makes a great companion piece to shake down and oversteer. But that's all I have to say about him, so I'll see you next time.